Here's the head unit that I showed you how I installed in another video. Um, I figured I should show you the rest of the uh, stereo setup. Um, this head unit's working out really well. It has a feature that blocks the low bass from the door speakers that it powers, and that helps them live a little bit longer. Um, you can see down here I've got some temporary amp wires running here. This is not a safe or long-term solution, but uh, I'm going to be replacing the carpet, so I just wanted to hook the amp and sub up real quick. But I'm going to show you the door speakers and sub setup. Here you can see one of the door speakers. The previous owner installed six and a half inch uh, coaxials in the doors, so I've already got the holes. I decided I might as well use them. These are Punch 165s. Um, they had pretty good reviews, and I like them so far. Um, I've got a one of the foam baffles behind each one to protect them from leaky doors. Uh, that it was a real pain to get the the foam in there with the speakers, but anyway, they're working well so far. This is a Pioneer TS SW3001 S4. Um, it's a shallow mount sub. As you can see, it's not very deep. Um, kind of a cool looking basket. Unfortunately, it's going to be in the box, obviously, but looks cool. Um, this Pioneer makes two different flat subs, and this is the higher end one. And it has lots of good reviews, so I, I went with it. Here's the subwoofer enclosure. Um, I've built enclosures before, but I just didn't want to build this one. This was uh, made by RT Enterprises, um, and it, the invoice even lists it as being for a Pioneer shallow mount. But um, you might check them out. This one costs about 50 bucks, so it's pretty pretty good. It's sh it's shallow, so it'll fit behind the, the seat in the crew cab, and it's. Seems to be well built. So here's the amp that I'm going to use. Uh, it's a Hyphonics Brutus BRZ 1200.1D. Um, should should do about 450 watts RMS into the sub. The sub's max is 400, so it's pretty close. Um, that's at four ohms. If I ever add another four ohm sub, I could get 900 watts total, pretty easily out of this thing. Um, it does run certified power the power is certified so it will make that that amount of power um, it's got a remote remote base gain it's pretty standard on a lot of amps these days down here underneath the rear seat you can see the Hyphonics amp um, again it's just temporarily mounted under here this this will be its final spot but it's it's not really wired permanently but this end cap here has all the adjustments so it works real well to put it here you can tweak it without having to get under the seat but um, it's a great amp so far it's been really really good when I bought an amp kit I bought a Rockford Fosgate 4 gauge amp kit for it um, you need to look real closely when you buy the amp kits because a lot of them include wire that's what they call CCA and that stands for a copper clad aluminum so it's aluminum wire um, the oxygen-free copper OFC uh, that's what you want to look for behind the rear seat we have got the sub and box uh, I really like this Pioneer sub so far it's a lot louder than I expected it to be and sounds excellent um, really impressed with it as you can see I built a bar to protect the speaker um, it, without it the surround and this part of the speaker basket will contact these bars in the seats. There's a, there's a hard bar here and so over time that surround would probably get damaged by that bar. So I built this this protective bar here so the seat folds back on it and protects the sub. Um, when the seat is all the way back there's a little bit more space here than normal meaning the seat does not recline quite as far as it did bef before the sub um, it's still comfortable and it's not too big of a deal i don't have people back there that often so um yeah just really impressed with the with the sub uh, i would definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a shallow mount sub but anyway that's the 
install so far, I'll be doing the uh, new carpet and maybe some sound deadening and one that run the wires permanently uh, real soon here. But just a little update on the truck.